Hi, I'm Miranda Tamaris. And I'm Jacqueline Baltz, and you're watching WCIT's Weekly News. We hope you had a great spring break. Today marks the first day of spring, but most importantly, today is Tree Cat Day. In the words of Mr. Justice, after five days of despair, good triumphed over evil. The poor tree cat was rescued from the towering pines in front of Campbell Hall thanks to Coach Tribble. Westminster's annual outdoor music festival, Westfest, will take place tomorrow from 4 to 7 p.m. on Broyles Field. Students, faculty, and the men's and women's a cappella are performing, and it's supposed to be sunny in 75, so everyone should come out. I know I'll be there. <laughs> Tickets for prom are now on sale outside the lunchroom. They are $30 per person or $60 per couple. You do not want to miss that deal. The money will be charged directly to your student account. There is not a physical ticket, but your name will be on the list when you arrive at prom. Great news from the Science Bowl team. They won state! Woo! The team heads to nationals in Washington, D.C. in April. Way to go! The Wirecats came back from spring break very happy because they're headed to nationals. The team took home the judges award at this weekend's Alamo Regional in San Antonio and were part of the alliance that won the whole tournament. Their performance secured a spot in the national championships coming up in April. Eight students and two teachers from Mount Kenya Academy, our sister school in Nairi, Kenya, will arrive for a two-week stay in Atlanta on Tuesday, April 7th. Let Mrs. Heald and 310 ask you know if you and your family are interested in welcoming a Kenyan student into your home for two weeks. Westminster will host Oaxaca Me Mexico in Atlanta, a Mexican-inspired celebration featuring artists, food, music, and dancing, March 23rd to 27th. World-renowned artist Jacobo Angeles will serve as the celebration's artist in residence for the second year. Throughout the week, more than 200 students will participate in themed crafts and assist with an art project that will be displayed at the culmination of the festival. This celebration is about preserving and sharing the Oaxacan tradition and culture, not just in the Hispanic community, but throughout Atlanta, said Mr. Searle. And now, here's Robert DeGolian catching up with students to find out who they have winning the March Madness bracket. Take a look. Filled out a bracket, right? Yes, I do. All right. So, who do you have winning it all? Uh, I had Duke winning it all. That's bold. All right, so uh, how did you, uh, like, what was the strategy you went with to fill it out? Uh, I didn't want to have too many upsets in my bracket because at first I had a lot. And then I was like, who's going to guard you a little Oka for? And then I thought of that. And then I think he's going to lead them all the way. I got you. So, uh, do you have any, like, you know, Cinderella team, something like that? Uh, my Cinderella team is Georgia State. Who's your uh, Cinderella team? UAB. Well, yeah, they just won. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's the strategy for you filling it out? I know nothing about basketball, so let's go for it. It's a good way to go. All right, so you filled out a bracket, right? I did. All right, so who do you have going all the way? Well, I've na I filled out several brackets. I've narrowed them in one and Arizona in the other. All right, all right, that's pretty solid. So uh, what's your, like, strategy for picking the games? I looked uh, a lot at... Um, like point differential, like strength of schedule, stuff like that. I thought teams that um, scored more points were more important than teams that had good defenses. Yeah, score more points to win the game, right? All right, so so, so um, uh, who do you think your uh, Cinderella team is? Uh, I picked Valparaiso to win the first two games. It's a pretty solid pick. I've got that too. All right, well, thank you very much. So uh, who's, who's your sleeper team? Sleeper team. I mean, I don't have that many people, any any low-ranked teams going to the Final Four, but I guess, like, Northern Iowa, I guess? I don't know if they're that much of a sleeper. Northern Iowa. All right, well, thank you for your time. Who do you have uh, winning it all in the bracket? Virginia. There we go. Go Hoos. All right, so what's the uh, the strategy, you know, for you, picking your teams? Uh, just flip a coin, and if you don't like what the coin says, then just choose whatever team you like best. Thanks, Robert. Speaking of sports, there are a few athletic events on campus to attend this weekend. The Varsity Girls Lacrosse team will be hosting the annual Dogwood Classic Tournament, so make sure to cheer them on. Also, the boys soccer team is playing at home tonight at 7.30 versus Decatur. And now, here's a special weather report by senior Cesar Meza. Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, looks like today there will be a high of 73, a uh, low of 51, a uh, little cloudy. Saturday, 75 degrees, 55 low, mostly sunny. And then uh, Sunday, it'll be a high of 61, low 50, 51, and it'll be some rain. Uh, also, I think I've got a special announcement today. Um, 
I've, I've been uh, thinking about prom a lot, and I really, really been keeping me up at night. So I just got to get this on my chest right now. Uh, I got to ask, um, got to ask my sweetheart, Carrie Green, will you go to prom with me? Thanks, Cesar. We would like to send out a special congratulations to Dr. Boggs, who has served as a college counselor, teacher, and coach at Westminster for 44 years. Dr. Boggs will be retiring at the end of this school year, and we'd like to give him our many thanks. Thanks, Dr. Boggs. And that's all for this week. Again, I'm Jacqueline Baltz. And I'm Miranda Tamaris. Have a great weekend, Wildcats.